welcome to the Sci Graphic Show. Today we're going to talk about the moon. Well, let's start with the creation there. You see that Mars-sized planetoid called Theia? Well, that thing crashed into Earth 4.54 billion years ago, creating a huge impact. And the residual rock and dust particles that were created by the impact just orbited around the Earth for years, until one day they all combined together to form the moon that we know today. This impact also caused the 23.5 degree tilt in the Earth's axis. You see that dotted line? Well, that, that, that represents the tilt. And we gotta thank that tilt in the Earth's axis for the different kind of seasons that we get. And by the way, the radius of the moon is 1737 kilometers. If you guys were wondering about that. When the moon was created, it was just 22,500 kilometers away from the Earth. And if you were to look at the moon from the Earth, it would have appeared 17 times larger. And it would have been awesome. The distance between the Earth and the moon right now is 384,400 kilometers. The moon rotates on its axis at the same rate that the moon orbits the Earth. A situation known as tidal locking or synchronous rotation. And that's why we always see the same phase of the moon. As the fast spinning Earth attempts to drag ahead of the sluggishly orbiting moon, it causes the moon to slow down on its rotation. And at the meantime, the Earth also slows down off its rotation, losing a lot of energy due to friction at the insides, causing the formation of tides in the oceans. You see that kids? If there wasn't any moon, there won't be any tides. But due to this friction, the moon is slowly pushed further away from the Earth by 3.8 centimeters per year. In about tens of billions of years from now, the Earth's rotation will extremely slow down, matching exactly as the moon's orbit. And the length of one day would be the same as one lunar month and that would be six weeks or so. 50 billion years from now, the moon will stop moving away from the Earth and settle into a nice little orbit of its own. And the tides will become much calmer. But yeah, guess what? The sun will expand in just another five to seven billion years to touch the Earth's orbit and the earth will die before the ones I said about will happen. 